Welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a recipe that I want to try out. This is not the traditional um, uh, pork uh, lao lao. So I did see a recipe onto Pinterest of how they use coconut milk. And I wanted to go ahead and try that out today because sometimes I find that like with poi and lao lao, it doesn't have as much flavor as I wish that it would have. I'm more of a flavor into it. So if you guys are into the traditional one, traditional one is just using um, these. These are called the, the taro uh, leaves. Um, it comes with a root uh, when it's grown and then that root is used in um, poi. And then also, um, this one is also called like uh, luau, luau leaves. Um, but uh, Filipino calls this gabi, gabi leaves. So again, a lot of recipes, like especially into Hawaii, there's um, mixed in culture in there. There's the Filipinos, there's the Japanese, there's the Koreans and the Chinese, and it's all mixed in and kind of people kind of mix and match the, their own traditional into this one form of a multicultural recipe, which is something that's just absolutely uh, beautiful. And today I did not have any tea leaves because I live in Seattle, so we don't have easy access to certain um, certain items that we would really need to make the traditional Hawaiian uh, lao lao, which is tea leaves onto the outside, wrap it uh, along with these um, taro leaves or luau leaves, and then. Um, put them and then steam them kind of thing. So if you don't have tea leaves, if you're into the mainland, then you can definitely use like banana leaves. Uh, it just has to be some sort of a, a leaves that you can cook and then that retains moisture. I did not have any banana leaves because we are in a state of shelter in place. Um, so I just had these and then I bought these over at my Asian market, just kind of in and out. And so totally forgot to grab the banana leaf but that's okay we'll just make do so I prepped it up um, I showed you guys um, I'm gonna add some clips in here cut up the stems peeled the stems chopped it up and then went through these and kind of separated them into so I like to when I make my uh, lao lao I do like to use about two no more than that because it becomes chunky and especially when they're big and if you had the tea leaves you'd be able to use uh, the stem of the tea leaf to be able to wrap it so I don't have that, but it's nice that my uh, luau leaves is kind of big, so then it kind of wraps on itself. I'm using pork. You can definitely use other uh, meat as well. You can use codfish. Um, you can use chicken. Chicken thighs, I think, would be in preference because you need something uh, fatty. Uh, codfish is really nice because it's, it's fatty. So you can mix the codfish along with the pork. And then if you're gonna use the pork uh, pork butt, I think it's like the best um, option to use because then it has a lot of like the fat into it. Cut it into about one inch pieces. Now, this is the stem that comes with it. Like I said, I peeled it and then chopped it. And then for today, it's not gonna, the traditional one with water, I'm going to add some coconut milk to it and then some uh, sweet potato that I chopped up in here along with this and then of course it's going to call for the Hawaiian salt and then just to flavor it I, I like to put uh, pepper so I'm going to try it with the South African pepper and then just a little bit of shoyu and just a little bit just a tad and then also um, just a little bit of garlic like I said I want to do a recipe of this one of just adding a little bit more flavor to the meat so it's not so bland so if you like your traditional then of course stick with that one but this one I wanted to go ahead and try out and share it with you guys like I said um, you're gonna get the leaves and then this was attached and all you do is just cut to the base of it be careful not to go too much because then you will end up cutting into the leaf itself so just stop at the base and then, and then what we're going to do is to, to peel it, you're just going to get, I already started here, I, I already started along here, you're just going to get your, the knife and then the edge and then your thumb and then hold on to it and then it starts just like peeling off. You guys can see that. Now you don't have to do this. I I prefer to do this because the the skin of the stem is very 
fibrous. So that's all. You just gotta peel. Okay, so you're gonna do that to all the stems. And then what we're gonna do is just rough chop it. And you're gonna get some. And then you're just gonna put that aside. So for this one, I went ahead and separated the leaves, two uh, leaves together, kind of just sized them up. And then if there's any leaves that um, certain sections are kind of old or because I actually left the the plastic open overnight because I was going to make this video yesterday. So once it um, it makes contact with the air, then it tends to dry up faster. So you just cut that off. And like um, you can see over here, I have one big leaf, but this one is broken. So I just put that over here so that it kind of covers that. Let's go ahead and prep the meat. All right, so now I have my uh, choice of meat. Like I said, you can use, um, you can, like I said, you can use codfish, but I don't have any of that. So this is what I have because of the um, the shelter in place. I just have a pork butt. And the nice thing about this pork butt, because I was going to make Kahlua pork with it, is that it does have a lot of uh, the fat. So cut, it, cut your piece into about one inch. One inch to a, an inch and a half. You don't want it to be uh, too big because you're going to, of course, like bite into it. But it's kind of separate out like the ones that has a fatty uh, meat to it and then um, the ones that's um, kind of really just meat itself so that when you're putting it into the lao lao leaves then it's kind of balances out but you can also use chicken uh, chicken thighs would be good as well as well as uh, like I said codfish so just uh, prep this up and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to season it. All right, I went ahead and added just a little bit of the, the pe um, smoked peppers and then just a little bit of just the black pepper because normally you don't even need that. And then um, the garlic. And then I have my Hawaiian salt. This is about, I want to say almost a pound. So I'm going to get a fresh spoon. And then you're going to need, just depending on how much meat you have, you're going to need about one to three uh, tablespoons of, of the Hawaiian salt. Okay. I had gotten these Hawaiian salts during one of my uh, family's um, hula uh, show. There was a Hawaiian hula show over in downtown, um, around the downtown Seattle area a few few months ago and then a little bit of uh, shoyu so I love to use the Aloha brand shoyu it's just another name for soy sauce mix that in all together and then I'm gonna start prepping it up so I have my assembly line all prepped up I have my meat I've got about half a cup of coconut milk. If you don't want to use coconut milk and make it more traditional, half a cup of water. I have some sweet potatoes in here that I just uh, chopped up into little small pieces. I'm going to do half with the sweet potato because hubby doesn't like it with the sweet potato. And then also I have the uh, taro uh, stems. Now to uh, prep this up, all you have to do is just put a handful in here to be able to just wrap it completely and kind of tuck so this recipe is a lao lao crock pot if you don't have a crock pot you can definitely just uh, put this over the stove and then just steam it because that is the traditional lao lao recipe but for this one i did line up my crock pot with a few layers of the um the taro leaves or luau leaves and i layered it to where the ones that i did not want to use you can also use banana leaves in here to be able to layer it and then the tea leaves like i said but this one it's just going to be the taro and then what i'm going to do is because it's sticking out so much these were like the super large leaves i'm just gonna kind of cut around it and then um or else just fold around it to uh, be able to cover um my lao lao in here we so. have our two layers of the leaves and then we're just going to get a handful of the meat then like I said, mix it with ones that are meaty and ones that are fatty because you really need the fat in here. Also divide it to how much to put in here depending on 
how many uh, sets of leaves that you have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I kind of want to make sure that kind of evens. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I can actually add just a little bit more. Go ahead and get some of the the dressings, if you want to call it that. Uh, for this one, this is going to be mine. I want to try the sweet potato onto mine and just tuck it in there. Don't overfill because remember, you gotta you gotta be able to close it. But I like sweet potato. Okay. So then you just find like the best way to be able to fold it and then having it secured because I do not have any of the tea leaf I want to make sure that it's tight so fold over another over and then fold over okay I feel like that's really nice and secured kind of tuck so that's under look at that not pretty I'm going to start placing it into the crock pot that already has the luau leaves. Okay. Again, like I mentioned, I have two leaves together. Kind of flatten it, get your meat. This pork butt was really nice because it had plenty of meat part and then the fatty part to it. We're just gonna add on the stuff that we want. I did ask hubby and hubby's like, oh, I don't mind the sweet potato. Okay. And then because this is the shortest end, I'm just gonna use that to fold over. And then over. I feel like it's um when you have a baby, like the newborns and when you got a Swaddle, so swaddle the meat <laughs> to make it tight, okay? And then over, okay? Then I'm gonna put this one at the bottom because of the opening. All right, friends, it is all set. So I have my crock pot, I've got everything tucked in there. I have my coconut milk. Again, if you want more of a traditional version of the Hawaiian lau lau, then just use water. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this. Hold on one second. It's kinda hard to do it with one hand, but I've got my coconut milk. Half a cup is plenty, I think, and then you're just going to drizzle around. Okay, and then that's going to create that little steam that it needs for that. Oh, this coconut milk smells so good. Then what you can do, I don't have any more of the leaves. You can use more leaves to cover. Banana leaves, like I said, works really, really well. I've used banana leaves before because of the, the wax part. It has to face up just like this one. There's like a little bit of a... This one is more has more texture, but you're gonna cover that up, um, cover it up, and then since I don't have any more uh, leaf or the banana leaves, I'm gonna go ahead and use foil. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook and come back a few hours later. It's dinner time, so here's hubby. Ah, oh, look at that! I put sweet potato in there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, you want to go ahead and bite into it? Mm -hmm. With the sweet potato, I've already had mine. It the, the sweet potato adds a bit of a good balance onto like the the fatty pork. A small piece. Mmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Nice. It's a good recipe to keep. Very good. Thank you, babe. Mm-hmm.